According to NASA government, in the early 1990s, one thing was fairly certain about the expansion of the universe. There might have been enough energy density to stop this expansion and recollapse, but it also had so little energy that it would never stop expanding. But gravity was certain to show the expansion as time went on. Granted, slowing had not been observed, but theoretically the universe had to slow. The universe is full of matter, and so the attractive force of gravity pulls all matter together. Then came 1998 and the Hubble Space Telescope, or HST, observation and a very distant supernova showed that a long time ago in the universe was actually expanding more slowly than it is today. But the expansion of the universe has not been slowing due to gravity as everyone thought, it has been accelerating. No one expected this, no one knew how to explain it, but something was causing it. Eventually, theorists came up with sorts of explanations. Maybe it was a result of long discovered versions of Einstein's theory of gravity, one that contained one called cosmological constant. Maybe there was some kind of strange energy fluid that filled space. Maybe there was something wrong with Einstein's theory of gravity, a new theory that could explain the kind of field that creates this cosmic acceleration. More is unknown than known about dark energy, also according to the NASA government. We know much dark energy is there, then that's how it affects the universe and expansion. Other than that, it's a complete mystery, but it is an important mystery, as it turns out roughly 68% of the universe is dark energy. Dark matter makes up about 27%. The rest, everything on Earth, everything we observe with all our instruments and normal matter adds up to less than 5% of the universe. Come to think of it, maybe it shouldn't be called normal matter at all, since it's the smallest fraction of the universe. The only explanation for dark energy is that energy is a property of space. Albert Einstein was the first person to realise that, that empty space is not nothing. Space has amazing properties, which is many just the beginning to understand. The first property that Einstein discovered was the possibility for more space in existence. The one version of Einstein's gravity theory, the version that contains the com cosmological constant, makes a second prediction. Empty space can possess its own energy. Because energy is a property of space, it's not diluted as space expands. It, the space comes into existence more than the energy of space would. As a result, the form of energy that causes the universe to expand much faster and faster, unfortunately no one will understand this cosmological constant and should even be there, much less why we have exactly the right value to cause this observed acceleration in the universe. Another explanation for how space acquires the energy is from quantum theory of matter. In this theory, empty space is actually full of temporary, virtual particles that continuously form and disappear. But when physicists tried to calculate how much energy this would give empty space, the answer came out wrong. Wrong by a lot. The number came out 10 to the 120th power, times too big. That's one with 120 zeros after it. It's hard to get an answer that bad, so the mystery continues. Another explanation for dark energy is that new kind of dy dynamical energy field or field, something that fills space, but something whose effect and expansion of the universe has the opposite of that of matter, normal energy. Some theorists have given the name quintessence after the fifth element of Greek philosophers. But it Quinton says is the answer, we don't know what it is like, it interacts with or why it exists. So the mystery continues. The last possibility is that Einstein's theory of gravity is not correct, and the only effect of the expansion of the universe, but that affect the way that normal matter and galaxies and clusters of galaxy behaved. This fact will provide a way to decide that the solution of dark energy and the problem is a new gravity theory or not. We could observe how galaxies come together in clusters, but if it doesn't turn out that the new theory of gravity is needed, what kind of theory would it be? What is dark matter? Well, also according to NASA government, by fitting the theoretical model of composition in the universe combined to set of cosmological observations, scientists have come up with a composition described well as 68% dark energy, 27% dark matter, 5% normal matter. But what is dark matter? We are much more certain what dark matter is than we are of what it is. First, it is dark, meaning that it is not formed stars or planets that we see. 
observations show that there's much that there's far too little visible matter in the universe to make up 27% by observations. Second, it is made from the dark clouds of normal matter, matter made up of particles called baryons. We know that this is because to be able to detect baryonic clouds by their absorption of radiation passing through them. Third, dark matter is not antimatter because we do not see the unique gamma rays that are produced when antimatter annihilates with matter. Finally, we can rule out large galaxy-sized black holes as the basis of how gravitational lenses we see. High concentrations of matter bend light, passing near them from objects further away, but not enough seeing lenses to suggest that such objects make up the required 25% of dark matter contribution. However, at this point, there are still few dark matter possibilities that are visible. Baryonic matter could still make up the dark matter. If we were all tied up into a brown dwarf or some dense chunks of heavy elements, the possibilities are known that a massive compact of halo objects or macos. But the most common view is the dark matter is not baryonic at all, but is made up of other more exotic particles like axion. Be sure to check out Science NASA Government as that's where I got a lot of my information. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.